and looks like we need proof of your attendance at any of those 12 step meetings that you were supposed to have submitted and you were supposed to be submitting those to Ms. Straub, is that correct? Yep, I, th uh, I thought I emailed them to her. I definitely have them. One moment, please. Ms. Straub has not received anything uh, from you regarding this since November, so we'll need to uh, adjourn it so you can get those over to her. Okay. I'll adjourn the review to April the 4th at 10 o'clock a.m. Please make sure you get your proof for 72 hours prior, so at least three days beforehand, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. State of Michigan versus Brandon Sparks, 23 FB, 1194. Rachel McDuffie for the people. Assistant Public Defender, Sandra White, on behalf of Brandon Sparks. Brandon Sparks. Thank you, Mr. Sparks. All right, Mr. Sparks, you got some issues going on, sir. You haven't had any correspondence with, the, with your probation agent since your last court date? I believe he's reported he just missed February, which he thought he had did. He thought he had reported for February, but he said he may have done it at the end of January. Let me pull up his report. Yes, ma'am. I uh, went back to my calendar and it was on February 9th. However, there is another probation officer I have to report to for a case withheld in Georgia. And that was my confusion. All right, we're checking on something to see if there was an actual report since uh, December. Okay. While we're looking up that issue, he also has not completed the MAD Victim Impact Panel or the ARM program. He said, uh, Mr. Sparks, we're asking you for more time to do the MAD Victims Impact Panel, correct? Sure. Okay. Uh, and, one, one moment, please. Okay. You're ecstatic. Technical difficulties. Okay.
All right, you may continue, Ms. White. Yes, we're asking for more time to do the Matt Victim Impact Panel. And he tells me that he's currently enrolled in the ARM program. Anything from you, Ms. McDuffie? Your Honor, I have that he reported um, except for February, but he just has not been in contact with probation about the status of him completing all of the other requirements. I see. And there is one more thing that Mr. Sparks wanted me to tell the court. All right. He wants the court to know, and he and I had a good conversation yesterday, that he really is taking everything seriously. And he is sorry that it's taking him a minute to do some of these things, but court probation and everything does matter to him. All right. Well, we're going to adjourn it for a 90 day review. You need to have that mad victim impact. Uh, panel done and your uh, arm course done by then. Okay, Mr. Sparks? Yes, ma'am. I'm working on it. I completed unit one of the arms program uh, yesterday, actually. Oh, good. How many units are there? I don't know. It doesn't say. It just says unit one and then so gotcha. on. So All right. We'll do our next review on June 6, 2024 at 10 o'clock a.m. Okay, Mr. Sparks? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good day. You too, sir. Bye-bye. State of Michigan versus Stephanie Brenner, case number 23 FB 1264. Stephanie Brenner. Ms. McDuffie, you were muted if you said anything. Sorry about that. Rachel McDuffie for the people. Thank you. Assistant Public Defender Sandra White on behalf of Stephanie Brenner. Thank you. All right, we're here today for a review in this matter. Ms. Uh, Brenner um, needs to provide proof of any of her community service that she's done and pay on her fines and costs. Ms. Brenner, uh, we had a conversation and she is in somewhat of a unique situation. She said that she's unable to do the community service and at this time she's unable to, do, to pay any fines and costs. I did ask, tell her that she has to do one or the other. Um, unfortunately, she says at this time she can't do either. And I told her that the court is going to make a decision for her that she may or may not like. Not what you said, but okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I, I said it in a different way. My my court costs are already paid. They've been paid. Oh, okay. My, my apologies. Yeah. That's right. Your court costs have been paid. I'm sorry. My Correct. apologies. It's the, it's the community service that we it's were discussing. I'm having right. a reading comprehension problem today. Um, so what's going on with the community service and why can't she do it? Are you asking, asking me? Transportation and trying to get places and she doesn't have the money. She doesn't have the money to do community service? I don't understand that. Right. Ms. Brenner? Yes. Um, you were not given probation um, at this time. You were given an option to get these things done so you didn't have to do probation. Correct. You're either going to get the things done or you're going to be placed on probation. And then if you don't do I, it, I, I, as I explained to her, I think she's getting me confused with somebody else because we did not have the conversation that she said we did. I explained to her that I do not have a means of transportation, and she brought up Lyft and Uber, and I told her the IRS owes me $5,000. I lost my food stamps last October, and I honestly, I cannot afford an Uber or Lyft where I can't feed myself and my daughter. <laughs> so if probation or jail or I don't want to tell you I can do things I can't. <laughs> I can't do the community service. I work two jobs. <laughs> I don't. Even with transportation, I don't have the time. Okay. Ms. McDuffie? I don't know, 
I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so the last time we were here, Ms. Uh, Brenner shared that I think her transmission had gone out. So that was why she hadn't started the community service due to her car troubles at that time. So um, I, and then my notes from before that, when she got sentenced on October 5th, were that um, the court did not order the arm class that I think was recommended at that time. Um, I don't know if that is an online issue, but it sounds like Ms. Brenner would apparently fare better going on probation and completing the requirements than um, the alternative that the court provided. So um, something obviously has to be done. So I, and I, and I, she's saying that she, I know she's working in, but probation is the alternative to jail for the offense that was committed. So something has to happen. So if it, if it is, I don't know if she's requesting that or not, but if it's going to work better that she just goes on probation and completes whatever requirement. Honestly, it would be better if I went to jail because I can't comply with jail. I can't comply with probation. I can't go up to Ann Arbor and drop and stuff. I can't do it. Well, we can never make anyone do probation. So if she wants to do jail, I can accommodate that. If I go to jail, I would request that I don't get taken off my Suboxone like I did last time. I have a prescription for it. I have a doctor. They took me off it. They didn't give it to me, and I was sick as hell. Ma'am, unfortunately, I can't control what the jail does. I can put a note in there indicating that you're on Suboxone and ask that they um, please respect that, but I cannot make them do that. That's great. Do you, do you understand what my charge is for? I saved two dogs' life. <laughs> if I wouldn't have done what I did, these dogs would be dead. He has the dogs back, and I don't understand why I'm being punished. Well, that is your version of what happened. That is not his version of that. And in addition to that, I already gave you the benefit of not having to go on probation, and I struck a number of things and gave you the lowest fines possible and gave you community service and you're telling I me just, you want I just I don't that. know what else to do. I can't make promises I can't keep. <laughs> well, I don't want to tell you I can do this stuff and not do it and come back and get screwed. <laughs> right. I'm just trying to be honest. Well, then that's then there's a, a consequence for not doing what you're ordered to do when you commit a crime, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. So the the sentence is going to be 30 days in the Washington County Jail. Is when, when do you want to turn yourself in for that? Probably not until my daughter is out of school. Well, then I'll issue a bench warrant. You're going to, you don't have a choice to just say you're not going to do the community service, ma'am. I'm not saying I'm not doing it. I'm saying I can't. It's not an option. Okay. I go to jail for 30 days and I'll lose both of my jobs. I'm going to be super screwed. Okay, well, but those are your cares, But nobody cares, so it's fine. All right. So is your client requesting that she do the jail time at this point, Ms. White? Yeah, we'll be done with it, yes. Okay. 30 days in the Washington County Jail. Zero credit. So glad I paid my fines. Got me real fucking far. Couldn't eat for a month, and but hey, you guys got paid. Ma'am, if you curse one more time while you're on here, you're going to be held in contempt and you're going to get a consecutive 30 days. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Thanks for to issue. Let me, um, I need one, I need to put a sticker in there.
State of Michigan v. Stephen Tate, case number 22S00368. Pray to me, Bethany, for the people. Assistant Public Defender Allison Muller here on behalf of Stephen Pate. Mr. Pate, can you state your name for the record, please? Mr. Stephen Pate. Thank you, Mr. Pate. Good morning, You're welcome. Sir. There was a time when that was you. Miss Washington. I'm I'm doing good. At least okay? I'm trying. Are you okay huh? today? Are you okay today? Yes, ma'am. I kind of, I, I kind of, I kind of find, I kind of feel funny because I've been having seizures all night. Um, but other than that, I feel good. Okay. Uh, I'm doing my ABR classes. Um, I've missed, I've missed two of them because one, uh, one of them I missed because I had a visit with my son, and I couldn't make it. The other one is I was in the hospital because um, I was having seizures and I had a blackout. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about you today. Your demeanor seems a little off. No, ma'am. You should probably go to the hospital if you're having seizures all night. Yeah, because um, without my son, you remember, you remember my son, right? I don't think I met him, but I've heard a lot about him. You remember the last time I told you he was important to me? Yes, I do remember that. Because uh, he's actually a part of me. So if he's not around, you know, I'm not, I'm not myself. Okay. But um, I've been doing good. I've been doing my ABR classes. Um, there is one thing I have to ask you. Uh, I don't know how to get a hold of the other RBR uh, ABR class because I wanted to see if if I can transfer the, uh, the classes that I've already done to this one because they made me start over again. That's going to be up to uh, community corrections as to whether or not they're willing to accept those classes. Because I was almost done with the other ones. I think I only had like six more classes left. All right. But, um, uh, Miss Johnson. Oh, sorry. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, uh, good morning again. Good morning. Um, he was doing classes through who, Mr. Brown, or do we know who he was doing his prior? Was he doing classes before? Um, it was with the ABR program, but he couldn't afford those anymore, so we switched them to Accountable Choices. Okay. And so Accountable Choices, do they know he was attending classes before, and would they take into consideration those, or they've already decided? Um, I've talked to Mr. Henderson separate because he's under the... He's doing classes right now under the grant through community corrections. So there's kind of like a trick to it because of how the grant works. Um, okay. But Mr. Henderson and I are working out some sort of agreement to kind of give him credit for those classes that he previously took. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying my best to get off probation. Oh, well, you're due off on June seventh, Mr. Pate. So you got to get the classes done. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and you and Miss Drotar should probably figure out how to stay away from each other. I've already figured. I've already figured that out. Okay. Um, I do have to tell you though, um, per your request, um, the only time the only time that I contact Miss Drotar. Is when it de is when it deals with David, okay. and well, it when it deals like with the parenting classes. It sounds like that's that that's still creating some issues. So that's concerning. You got to make yeah. sure that you don't have any issues. Okay. Well, me and Miss Drotar is not together anymore. 
I eliminated all that. The only time that we talk is 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 when it deals with David. I, I heard you say that, and I understand that. But even in doing that, issues are arising. So you need to not get in trouble because if you get in trouble, then you don't get to have your child around. It becomes a CPS issue. So you got to yes, make ma'am. sure you don't do that. Okay. Um. I receive I receive housing I receive housing this week, and um, hopefully on the fifteenth um, I get David back. Okay. So, um, with um, with you and me, I'm doing everything I can. I know you I'm, are. Hey, I I thank you for that second chance. You're welcome, Mr. Pate. And I'm rooting for you. So keep doing what you got to do. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm staying in contact with Ms. Johnson. And everything. So she she's up to date. She's up to date on my uh on my progress and right. my achievements and my nine achievements. <laughs> All right. I'm going to still recommend that you uh, go see a doctor today because you've been having medical issues all night. So you should try to see if yes, you can ma'am. do that. Okay. Yes, and, and I'll see you back here in 30 days. Oh, that'll be on yes, April ma'am. 11th. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Miss, Miss Muller, is there anything you wanted to say? I did notice you were unmuted. No, Your Honor, I didn't. Thank you. Anything from you, Miss McDuffie? I think from the people you're on. Great, thank you. All right, Mr. Pate, I will see you back here on April 11th, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. State of Michigan versus David Copeland, 16S00020. Rachel McDuffie for the people. Assistant Public Defender Davi Lipa for Mr. Copeland. Mr. Copeland, could you state your name, please? Mr. Copeland, we, we couldn't hear anything if you said anything, sir. I, I'm sorry. I was by I was over by work though, by where I'm working at, and there, there's a lot of noise there. I walked away from there. I'm oh, sorry. okay. That's okay. Please state your name for me. Uh, David Copeland. Thank you. All right, we're here for money today. Mr. Copeland, supposed to be making $100 payments on the 5th of each month? Correct. I haven't been able to because of the weather, why I haven't made a payment yet. But um, like I told my attorney yesterday that I can make payments on the 15th starting this, um, this week or this 15th. A hundred dollars a month. So I don't understand the weather. What do you mean? Oh well, when we had all that, right after we had that, our our last court date, we had a lot of bad weather, and I wasn't able to work. So we oh. I poured concrete, so we don't. That today's actually the first day we're pouring concrete this year. So. All right. I just have to be. I was my court date. <laughs> I'll see you back here on May 16th, okay. 2024 at 10 a.m. See if you're making your payments. As I said before, if you're making your payments, you don't have to show up here. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. See you. Have a good day. You too. Oh, we don't think on it. I guess we can. Oh. How do I turn this off? It means that. <laughs> I'm trying to think.